Hi everyone, my name is Morgan and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Snap and Read in Overdrive. So I'm currently signed in at my public library and what I did is I just went ahead and selected this little books icon up here and this has taken me to my loans section. So today we're going to be reading Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and all I'm going to go ahead and select is read now in browser. I have opened up my Harry Potter book where I have left off in reading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply go up to my Snap and Read extension that is located here and I'm simply going to turn it on. Once I turn it on, I get my toolbar on the side here. So I'm going to go ahead and select my speaker icon and have it begin reading to me. We'll just start right here. Mr. Dursley stopped dead. Fear flooded him. He looked back at the Whisperers as if he wanted to say something to them, but thought better of it. He dashed back across the road, hurried up to his office. And I'm going to click on the speaker icon when I wanted to stop reading. Now that it has stopped reading, I'm going to move on to the next one down here. This one is going to be our screenshot reader. And since we're in a web browser, there's no need to use this today. So looking down here, this is going to be our text leveler. So this is going to simplify the content on the web page. So I'm simply going to go ahead and select it. And you see that some of the words have been italicized, so I know that the words have been leveled. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my speaker and have it read to me here. Secretary not to disturb him. Grabden took control of his telephone. And, and then click it off. The same as the web browser, I can hover over that italicized word and toggle back and forth between that level text and the more complex word as well. And since I have my translate on, it was also leveled for me in Spanish, which is so helpful. If I'm wanting to translate some text, I can go up into my Snap and Read extension options. And in here, I can choose from one of many languages that I want to use to translate. I'm going to leave it on in Monica and in Spanish for now. Just as a quick side note, you can always come in here and change voices, the speed and the pitch. Um, and all of that personal preference information is housed here. So going back to my translate options, I'm just going to select translate and I'm simply going to highlight the text that I would like translated. And now it's in Spanish. Similar to the dynamic text leveler, I can toggle back and forth between the translated sentences and English, which is helpful. So I'm going back to English and back to Spanish. I'm going to go ahead and click my speaker icon and have it read to me in Spanish. Apresuró a cruzar la calle, se apresuró a su oficina, llamó a su secretaria para no molestarlo, tomó su tele... And click off of it when I want to stop reading. My next tool is going to be our color overlay tool. Again, the colors are something that can be modified in our extension options found here. And this serves as a visual guide for students that like to follow along with reading. So for example, I'll show you all what it looks like. I'm going to select my color overlay tool and hover over here. And you can see that there is yellow where my mouse is. And as I scroll down, the yellow will follow me as I'm following along. So let's just see what that looks like when I'm reading. Sorry, he grunted as the tiny old man stumbled and almost fell. It was a few seconds before Mr. Dursley realized that the man was wearing violet clothes. And they can turn that off when they would like. Our last option that you can use in Snap and Read and Overdrive on this toolbar is going to be our outline tool. So let's say that we are writing a book report on Harry Potter. So we're going to generate a new outline. And of course, we have to come up here and give it a name. So we'll name it Harry Potter. So there we have it. So now let's say I want to start taking some information. So I want to say Harry Potter is a fictional story about a wizard. Once we hit enter, we can enter some new bullet points and some more information. If I go up to my three dots here, what's really awesome about this is I can add an outline template. And even better is if I scroll down to fiction, I can do a book report note. So I'm just going to select that and I can enter in all the information about Harry Potter. So I can come up here and again, enter Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's 
Brown, author, J.K. Rowling, and I can enter in the rest of my information. If I needed to get this information into a essay, what I can do is I can open up a new tab, I can go to a Google Doc, and my snap and read outline will follow me to my Google Doc, which is awesome. So what I'm gonna do is once this outline opens here, I am simply going to take some of this text that I have so awesomely started is I'm just gonna click and drag and it goes over there. I can take this piece of fiction and drop it here. Now let's say I need to go back and get some information about some of the conflict. So I'm going to drop it here. I'm going to go back to my story. And what I'm going to do is click this capture text button here. And I'm simply going to highlight the text that I want to put under my conflict. And it's going to drop right below there. And I can go back to my Google Doc and I can take what I think is the conflict and drop it here. It stayed in quotation marks so that I don't plagiarize, as well as drop a hyperlink so I can go back to this. If I need some a bibliography and references for my Harry Potter book here, it has built me one. So Snap and Read and Overdrive work perfectly together, and I hope that this video has helped you, and thanks for watching.